uh, Friday, I think the 29th, might be the 30th of uh, April, and um, I have had a really, really busy four days, soggy catfish days, got some neat underwater footage yesterday, or yeah, it was yesterday, um, and uh, my body needed a rest, so I'm laying on the couch, just not doing not moving at all recovering and I'm looking on Facebook and one of my buddies down in Florida posted something that said everybody's got if you started every day with eighty four thousand six hundred and forty four dollars and by the end of the day it was all voided from your account what would you do with that eighty four thousand I think it was eighty six thousand what would you do with that $86,000 every day? You'd spend it. If you're you know, into fishing, you'd spend it for fishing. If you're a charitable person, you'd use it for charity, but you wouldn't let it go to waste. So the parallel was drawn between that money and the seconds that you're granted every day. And had I not read that, I'd be on my couch. So I've got 84, 000, or 86,000 seconds to enjoy today and I'm gonna go ahead and do so it's a beautiful day out and I'm feeling it I'm hurting but ever since I got this camera I feel compelled to get as much footage on it as possible and to share it with with the rest of you so today I'm going down to a place at Cherry Hill Haddonfield area it's a stream bed a little tiny stream bed that has shark's teeth in it I found this thing when I was a teenager. Well, I didn't find it. Somebody showed me where it was when I was a teenager, and every year I go back a couple times, three or four times. I'm, I'm good. Uh, yeah, so the stream bed, I just did some research on it in my Jeep, not on the couch. And uh, the fossils there are from the late Cretaceous or the tertiary period. Uh, they were laid down in New Jersey. New Jersey was part of something called the uh, Atlantic Coastal Plain and it runs almost uninterrupted um, from North Jersey down to Georgia and you know there's a few breaks here and there but for the most part it's pretty you know consistent. You can go pretty much anywhere and find fossils in New Jersey. Um, the one thing you want to look for is this green clay and it's called glauconite and it's a it's a it's actually I think a mica uh, it's a it's somehow related to mica I'm not sure exactly how and I don't know why it's green because I think mica is it's like a reflective uh, really really kind of shimmery mineral I don't know what gives it the green color I didn't look into it that much I used to know all this stuff but I haven't been down this place in a couple of years, maybe. Oh no, I went there last year once, but they kind of put a bridge over it and erosion has been minimalized at that location, which I guess is good for the people that live around there, but it's no good for me to go find shark's teeth in. Uh, let's see, the sand, silts, and clays uh, were deposited 40 million years ago. Um, and New Jersey, like this deposit is more than likely from a shallow, uh, a shallow inland type estuary type waters. Uh, you can find some fossils up in North Jersey that are definitely from offshore. They're offshore, offshore species. I found a few big teeth uh, from offshore species, but maybe they were just visiting here or visiting there but at any rate we're gonna get down there and uh, I'm gonna don all my, my uh, gear no fishing rods today so it's gonna be a quick video I'm sure I'll lose interest after a couple hours and my back is already just completely destroyed from the last four days so when I get down there I'll start filming again if I find something if not you'll never see this video and look paper here like 
literally just just sat down like just got here I haven't put on any of my stuff the water's really kind of too high it's higher than it normally is there's that green clay I was talking about over there that's uh there's a layer of I don't know it's the glauconite it doesn't look very green right now but it's all wet so anyway I found just walked down looked down the ground and there is a shark's tooth right there do you see it no there and that's very cool isn't it there's also another something or other here oh that's a shark's tooth too that's where it would attach into the gum now, I have come down here and looked for hours and not even found what I just found so mission accomplished if I find no when I find some more I'll uh, I'll turn the camera back on, but that's that's pretty cool, isn't it? Little shark's tooth. I'll find out what kind it is when I get home. And I think that this bigger one is a sand shark, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it was a sand shark's tooth. But we'll find some more, and I'll turn the camera back on. Maybe I'll put my, my knee pads and gloves on, too, so I don't get all dirty. Now, see, I'm so glad I came out. I could have been sitting on the couch doing absolutely nothing today and here I am beautiful day out in the, out in the woods just beautiful beautiful day awesome excellent all right well I'm gonna find some more and then I'll turn the camera back on and I just like 12 seconds ago turned the camera off and I think I made the right decision to come down here and try doing this today yeah, oh wow look at that oh here See if you can find them. No? Give up? Well, there's one right there. See? They really blend in well. They have a distinct, like, sheen to them or shine. There's one here. And that's definitely a sand, sand, uh, sand shark tooth. And then here's a little mollusk. And what I was saying about it being a uh, like an in inland waterway I think I read earlier today when I was doing my research that the the water is uh, less than 50 feet that's what they consider inland so this little mollusk whatever this may be and I've seen them before I actually worked at Home Depot at the time there's a guy that worked for uh, University of Pennsylvania and he sent them out to Chicago where there was a fossil specialist and he gave me the name of them but I have since forgotten all that as it was probably 15 years ago and I was really into this about 15 years ago I used to come down here all the time I have a whole collection of these things at home but yeah good deal so I got I got four teeth and well, I mean two full teeth two broken teeth and a some kind of mollusk some kind of mollusk in less than five minutes so I said I'd be home in two hours knowing full well that it would be probably more like four maybe I will make it home in two hours I don't know but this this is probably the first time that anybody's been down here this season looking for shark's teeth and I usually don't um, move rocks or you know flip stuff over just that this is the only spot that I see from right here all the rest is covered with water I might head up there a little bit there's some a little bit of stuff up there but yeah mission accomplished success success all right well literally just turned the camera off again and put on my my uh putting on my knee pads okay this is my shark's shark tooth getting. Oh God! This is my shark's shark tooth getting get up and really like never ever ever happened to me like this before. But here we go. Let's see if you can find it. It's down there somewhere. You see it? Take a good look. Right there. There's one, and I found another one. 
sometimes they're really really small so like something like that might even be a tooth sometimes you'll just see the point sticking out from behind somewhere and that would be a tooth but uh, right over here this is a pretty good sized one let's see yep right here look at this so like again I'll, I'll find out what they are exactly I used to be able to spout off all kinds of useless information which has only become useless because I haven't been down here in a number of years so again I will turn this back on when I find another however I should probably just leave it on so you guys get an idea how fast up oh, right here maybe no nope. I thought that little sliver there might have been one Oh yeah, I could spend hours down here looking, looking for this stuff. It's kind of neat. Yeah, so the reason I, I have to like lean over, this is what I do, I lean over like this and then I'll have the other glove on and then, yeah, I got a really bad back, bad hips, so yeah, I might look like an idiot, but I'm having fun, having a lot of fun. All right, I'm gonna leave it on for just a second because I have a feeling there's gonna be another one right around here somewhere maybe, maybe maybe yeah I think the biggest one that I found down here has been about inch and a half maybe two inches long it's down here with my son when I found it it's a nice uh, sand, sand oh there's one sand shark sand shark tooth there you go another little one so you also find um, the uh, mouth parts of skates and rays down here um, some really strange stuff like some bones and actually that the thing that I called a mollusk earlier is actually uh, uh, from what it was explained to me it's a type of sedimentary worm like it burrows into the into the ocean floor and makes a like a cast around its hole to keep the sand from falling back in and that's what fossilizes so the, the actual worm didn't look like that spiraled up thing that we found earlier it is um, actually the the lining of the burrow which is uh look at that that is so cool isn't it could have been laying on the couch okay, let's put the other ones up here this is just from the one spot probably that haven't even been here 10 minutes I haven't even been here 10 minutes. There's another little spot over there. Look at that, 10 minutes. All that. This one's kind of neat. Oh, it looks different. I think these are all probably the same. But yeah, so I'll turn it on again in a few minutes, I'm sure. So I got out to this little, this little islet, island here. Uh, it looks like someone was digging right there. Um, but I don't think they, I don't think they know what's back here, because right here I just found this guy. And then, I found this one. I think that's probably going to be it on this little, this little island. I'll look a little bit more, but, uh, oh, that's a nice one. Oh. Yeah, if you see that they have like a different look than the rocks around it. I mean, it's kind of like a reflection or a white. They have a different look than the rocks around it. Kind of shimmery, shiny looking. But uh, yeah, the, some people will take this soil and run it through a screen, uh, like a hardware cloth, and and uh, pull out the shark's teeth. That, Sounds too much like work to me as I, yeah, as I crawl on my hands and knees with, yeah, that's work, right? Screening is work. This is, this is enjoyable. Figure that one out. Anyway, I'm going to probably take a walk down that way because it's easier to find them, I think, on undisturbed earth. Is that one? That's a leaf. It's easier to find them on, uh, like, undisturbed uh, stones. It just packs them down where these kids or whoever was walking around out here. So I'm going to take a walk down that away and find some more. So 
I just found one and it was really hard to find. I'm surprised I found it. And uh, so I kind of put it back where it was and then I took my eyes off it for a second and I lost it somehow. somehow. Looks like a piece of coral. It might not be though. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, see if you can find it. It's right there, right where the shadow is. Right at the tip of my finger. I find it difficult to find them on these dark stones. I think they're dark because there's not as much water uh, flowing over them. You know, as there is on like that shore right there. I'm gonna go over there, but I really don't want to get my feet wet, so I've been putting it off. I did find another big one earlier. I put my glove next to it. I'm sure you're gonna be able to see this one though. Watch. Yeah. Right there. That's a nice one too. Big one. Yeah, the little ones are just as neat to, to find. Unbelievable. You know, some days I'd come down here, spend an hour, two hours, and only find that, and I'd be happy with it. I got a whole pocket full of stuff. I'll unload it as soon as I um, get my feet soaking wet. But yeah, I'm gonna go over there. I'll look there, and I'll probably call it quits with that because I don't know. It's just uh, kind of ridiculous at this point. I got a pocket full of, you know, to make myself a bridge. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. I should probably video this. It might be kind of funny. All right. Um, I'll try to get over there. All right. Well, I've been here for three hours now, and I was supposed to leave in two. So I gotta scoot on out of here. Um, I did find two more. I'll show you this one first. I didn't pick them up yet. I want you to see. This is like that other one we found. Kind of sand sharp, really. We got two of them. A bunch of these up here. And some of those mollusks or worms or whatever. And uh, then this one's just a laying out in the open. Shouldn't have showed you where it was. See if you can find it. Look at that thing. Yeah, I know I can leave. That's awesome. For one day, that's pretty awesome. That's like, that's a lot for down here anyway. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm glad you uh, joined me for it. And like I said, that's the group of only people 40 million years old ever seen them. That's pretty cool. So instead of sitting at home, resting and recovering I'm going to be even more sore tomorrow but I had a good time and I'm spending my 84 or 86,400 seconds well thanks Mark excellent see you next time